this, this doesn't look that fun, right, to graph. Would you guys agree with me? So let's use some vague generalizations. Let's not even use, let's not even use units. We just know that pi over 6, ah, that's not what I want. Let's do, let's make them both negative. So let's pretend this is going to be negative. That's going to be over here. So that's negative 1 over 6. And then down, negative square root of 3 is going to be down this way. right? That's going to be negative as well. Do you guys agree with me? That's where that point is. I'm not even using units because we're not even gonna, we don't even need to care about units right now. But would you guys agree with me? It's in the, that point is in the fourth quadrant yeah. somewhere, correct? Yeah. And again, what we're looking for, huh? Third quadrant, thank you. What we're looking for is what is the r and what's the theta? So what is the r? r represents the distance away from the center, and theta represents the angle. Well, I know if I create a triangle, I can find both of those pieces of information. Because this is negative 1 6, and this is negative square root of 3 over 6. So do I have enough information to find r? Yeah, Pythagorean theorem, right? So I do one, negative 1 6 squared plus negative square root of 3 over 6 squared equals r squared. Um, let's see, that's going to be negative 1 over 36 plus, oops, that's positive, positive 3 over 36. r squared equals 4 over 36, which is equal to square root, square root. r is equal to plus or minus, but r is always going to be positive. So that's going to be 2 6, which is equal to 1 3rd. Follow me? You're not going to have anything mathematically this difficult. Or it's not really difficult, but it's just a little tedious, right? So that's going to be 1 third. Now we need to find theta. Can we find theta here? Do we have enough information? Yes. Tangent of theta is equal to opposite negative square root of 3 over 6 divided by negative 1 over 6. Now, I will give you guys a hint. Tangent of theta equals the square root of 3. You could plug that in your, if you don't visualize this, plug that all into your calculator. But you guys could see when you multiply by the reciprocals on the top and bottom, the 6's divide out, and you're just left with the square root of 6. And hopefully you guys should know by now that the tangent of square root of 3 is the same thing as pi over 3. That is your angle. Um, but so anyways, you guys could use your calculator. And you're going to get pi over 3 or 60 degrees. OK? If you plug that, oh, wait. Yep, so in your calculator, you'd say, I need to solve for theta. So you'd say tangent inverse of square root of 3, where therefore theta is equal to pi over 3 or 60 degrees. Okay, depending on what I ask. We'll just do the angle in degree. Actually, we're going to do a radians. Right three. Now, think about this, though. Is this angle pi over 3? Is that angle pi over 3? No. This is pi over 3. So what is the angle then in standard position? Because remember, t inverse tangent only gives you first and second quadrant. So what is this angle? Well, halfway around the circle is pi, or what over 3? Three? 3 pi over 3. So if I go an extra pi over 3, I'm at 4 pi over 3. So therefore, my final answer is going to be 4 pi over 3. Or think of this in terms of degrees. If from here to here is 60 degrees and here to here is 180, then that's 240 degrees, right? So just make sure you guys can visualize that. And again, I don't want you guys to be memorizing anything. I just want you to 